Well, as you know, the American Dream is a national show, but we integrate the best realtors in every city. I've traveled the entire country, and honestly, these are two of the best in the business. Dave and Kim Panazzo, these guys are award-winning realtors out of the Phoenix Scottsdale area. And today, we had the pleasure of watching Kim interview with Jim Lane, the mayor of Scottsdale. Let's go check it out. Hi, Craig, there in the studio. Uh, we are here on location at Taliesin West in North Scottsdale, and I'm here with Mayor Jim Lane. I'm so excited to have you. Well, it's great to be here with you. I'm particularly sitting, sitting right out here in the great and glorious uh, desert here. Isn't Scottsdale. it amazing? Oh my gosh, and the weather is spectacular. <laughs> we like to think it's always great here. <laughs> Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today and something that's near and dear to your heart is the new Thunderbird 2 Veterans Memorial that be, will be coming to the Scottsdale Airport here in, I think, early 18, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's right, exactly. It, it sort of comes together with the, our rebuilding of the terminal, the Scottsdale, uh, city of Scottsdale's terminal there at, the, at Scottsdale Airport. It's a great project all the way around, but it was really fantastic that we were able to incorporate within that. And that's something that maybe not a lot of people know is that the Scottsdale Airport was originally built to train the Army Air Corps pilots for World War II. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> uh, it really was only in, in operation for about two, three years. Uh, but, uh, you know, of course, with the, the toward the end of the war, it was decommissioned. But it was then it has a history beyond that, of course. And then it came to the city of Scottsdale. And I think we've done the best we could in making sure that it's was well utilized uh, for our entire economy and for the, as, certainly for the city. Being a, uh, a veteran myself, the Air Force, my husband was in the Army and currently our daughter is active duty in Moody Air Force Base in Georgia. I just tell you, it's something special and near and dear to my heart and I'm oh. very excited about it. You know, it's, it's a common refrain, uh, whether it's Veterans Day or otherwise, is just not to forget yes. the sacrifices that everyone has made, yourself and your service and your husband's service, but frankly, every veteran, but even to the point of the past, not forgetting what got us to this point. Absolutely. I'd love to talk a little bit more about the revitalization of the McDowell Road corridor and the downtown area, if you don't mind kind of letting the, everyone know about what's going on. Certainly. You know, uh, starting with the McDowell Road corridor, even though they're in relative close proximity, a couple miles from one another, it's considered more or less it has been. The southern part of town, certainly South Scottsdale and other designations, but it's been under a, a lot of pressure for a lot of years, ever since we lost to the Los Arcos Mall, which was oh. a number of years ago. Yes. And so uh, it has been, I would say, just sort of at a standstill for a lot of years. One of the things that sort of generated some real oomph into it was a, one of the biggest investments the city of Scottsdale has ever made in a, in a public-private partnership, and it happened to be with the ASU's foundation. If you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about the downtown area and what's what's going on, that's really exciting for us. One of the first components that we knew was on the horizon that we needed to add into the component for the younger workforce was an entertainment area. And the restaurant scene really became reawakened, and it was really nice. A couple of years ago, we finally got a, a Scottsdale Museum of the West, yes. which is the, the Western spirit, as we call it. But but that's something that was in process for almost, oh, I'd say, well, I know it was 50 years be, between the time it was first mentioned in 1964. Oh, my. <laughs> and, until 19, or 2014, rather, when it was, uh, we broke ground for it. And it's so fun to go down there. And it's alive. Yes, it's, it, it's alive. alive. There's and, an energy. And, uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. we used to say if, if tourists went to downtown 10 years ago, uh, they generally <laughs> found a place that was, uh, you know, maybe um, sort of challenging for, um, a uh, ghost town or something, but they generally <laughs> weren't coming back because there were not people on the street. It's been good, it's been transformative, and it's been dramatic in, in its change. Agreed, and I've lived here for over 23 years, and it's been something we've seen and enjoyed, and I can honestly tell you we love to go downtown and have dinner and yeah. um, and make that make that shift downtown. So I'm really excited, very happy, and very proud to be the city of Scottsdale. Uh, well, we're resident. glad to have you. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, meeting with us today and uh, being a part of the American dream. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's nice to be out here with you. I mean, I can hardly imagine a better place to just simply be sitting with you. Here. Exactly. Oh, Scottsdale Day. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And Craig, back in the studio to you.